Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and this is Jack and Pete. And on today's video, we will be doing the Embark DNA test for dogs. I got Jack and Pete on August 26th, just a few months ago and they were found on the side of the road in Merced, California. My sister works with a rescue out there and instantly called me about them because I've been wanting dogs for a while. Now, after these two were found, my sister fostered them for a few weeks and then she flew them out from California to North Carolina and I've had them ever since. We're actually just about to hit 100 days with them. But one thing that's funny is these guys love to be held like they're babies. This is one of their favorite ways to be held. They just go to sleep. Now we weren't sure what breeds they were. Um, they have, you know, long tails, flappy ears. He kind of looks like a Bichon. Um, so we're really looking forward to figuring out what their breeds are. Now we do have some idea now because they did take the wisdom DNA panel test because they are part of the PetSmart program. So we do know that they are part Chihuahua, which is where their tails come from. We also know that they're part miniature poodle, and then they are part Bichon and part Pekingese. But the biggest thing that we want to find out with taking the DNA test is, are they brothers? These two were found together on the side of the road, so we assume that they are brothers, but we just aren't sure. Now, when we did the wisdom panel, which we got through uh, the PetSmart program, it told us about the breed and it told us about health traits. Um, but the breed breakdown, uh, I wasn't sure how strong it was. So I'm curious to see if the breed breakdown will be any different with Embark as well. So this is the Embark DNA test and I got two of them, one for each. And we're going to get them tested, but before we go ahead and do that, let's just show you what the kit looks like. So when you open it up, you have your swab right here. It's very similar to if you're doing family tree DNA or my heritage. And then it has all the instructions. Now you do want to wait 30 minutes after your dog last ate or drank before you do any sort of swabbing, which it does explain that to you. So first we're gonna get Pete's done. And it should be pretty quick and easy, so we're just gonna tear this open. Now I did go on to the website and register this. So I did put his name on it too to make sure that I wasn't mixing them up. But uh, you wanna make sure you go and register the number. There's a number on here, so I don't wanna show that. So just pull this out. And then just as it says, it says swab the lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds to fully soak the sponge. So we're gonna take this, open up a little baby boy. Good boy. So we're gonna go for about 30 seconds. So now that we've soaked it, what we're gonna do, so we are gonna unscrew this, flip it upside down, screw it on, and now it says to shake it, close the cap, and shake 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And we're gonna put it in the mailing pouch, strip that, close that, and now we mail it. And now we are going to get Jack done. Open your mouth, baby. Open your mouth. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's okay. All right. And now we have both of these ready to ship out, so all we have to do is drop these in the mail and just wait for the results. So the results have come in. It's been a couple of weeks, and I'm really excited to check this out. Um, Jack's results came in before Pete's results, although I sent them at the same time, but I think that had more to do with, uh, the United States Postal Service because I got notifications a week, uh, separate saying that they had been sent, um, through their tracking. So I dropped them in the same blue box. So that's probably what it had to do, but I'm so excited. Biggest thing, as I said, was I'm really trying to see if they're brothers, um, or at least related. And then hopefully they'll have other uh, relatives. But also I am curious to see more about their um, their breed because I did do the wisdom panel. They came up as like Chihuahua, Poodle, a little bit of Bichon, a little bit of Pekingese, and then 
other random stuff. So curious to see how they're going to do it, and I'm curious to see how they're going to show it. But before we jump into the results, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, and be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. But let's go ahead. So um, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm going to do this guess his breed. Um, a perfect mix of seven breeds. Watch now, or guess his breed. I'm going to start the breed game now. Okay. Poodle small. Yes, I think they do. Okay, so he does have poodle small, which I knew based on the wisdom paddle. Chow chow. I don't think so. False. Okay. Pointer. I don't know. I wonder because the wisdom panel actually had said that they came from um, different types of breeds, like not specific ones, but breed groups, I guess. And they had different ones. So I don't. I'm going to say false. Okay. False. Chihuahua. Yes. True. Okay. Pete has 19.1%. Bijan. So now we're looking at Pete. And I, I know Jack has Bijan. Um, you know, but I let's say true because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're brothers. So I imagine they both have it. So maybe they'll pick it up. True. They did pick it up on, on Pete. Awesome. That's great. So this these results are different than Wisdom Panel. Um, and then next, Havanese. Now, supposedly they're Pekingese, so I'm going to say true. False. Okay. So now let's see the breed results. All right. So mixed breed. All right. Wow. Yeah, this is very different than the Wisdom Panel. We have 31.8% Poodle, which they go into. Okay. Let's just go back. We'll just go through the... 19.1% Chihuahua, 13% Bichon, 7.2 Pekingese, 6.5 Lasso Apso. Interesting. We have 5.2% Cocker Spaniel, 2.9% Pug, and then 14.3% Super Mutt, which I'm guessing is basically a way of saying like broadly unknown <laughs> or something like that. Okay. So, all right. So it just took me to these read origin page oh wow oh they give a lot of information so breed reveal video um all right let's watch it Okay, I'm going to pause this video. The way that they're doing it, they're separating it by what they think their parents are. Knowing genetic genealogy, I feel like the way that they're showing this maybe is a bit, uh, I don't know, maybe not the best way. Because, I mean, it, it maybe it, it is somewhat correct, but I feel like it's a, it's a bit much for them to say specifically, oh yeah, it's definitely one grandparent or two grandparents. Um, it's interesting. Chihuahua. So Bijan, Poodle, and Chihuahua are the main parts. Lasso, Apso. Pekingese. Okay. And these are all the smaller... Oh, I guess this is all of it. kind of interesting video i'm not going to watch that for for jack it basically just goes through what we can read um so you know looking at these from a my my standpoint it's 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 interesting to see um you know they do have some of these uh trace results 2.9 percent um going down now it's interesting because it looks like they're doing the breakdown similar to how they do it on 23 and me so basically they have each pair of chromosomes and then they're assigning each one so this will allow you to kind of get an idea of one parent versus the other so it does look like f this one parent is mostly poodle with the chihuahua in there and then the other one yeah that's where the all the different stuff comes in but there's poodle on both sides it's very colorful <laughs> very very colorful 
Now let's jump into some other stuff. So let's see, Family Tree. Okay, so that's basically what the video showed. Mix matches. Okay, breed mix matches. Explore other embarked dogs who have breed mixes that are similar to Pete's. A mix match of 100 means they are the exact same breed mix. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I should probably see a lot of dogs. Oh, wow, this dog right here looks really similar to Pete. Wow, okay, I'm going to look at that in a second. So let's see, maternal haplogroup, haplotype they call it. Through Pete's mitochondrial DNA, we can trace his mother's ancestry back to where dogs and people first became friends. Haplogroup A1A, haplotype A381. Okay. Haplotype. Oh, wait. We're... Oh, it's kind of, it's, it looks like it's like glitched out. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is the, this is the maternal and this looks like the paternal for some reason, for some reason, this website glitched out. So, oh, there we go. Now it's back. Okay. So through Pete's Y chromosome, he's haplogroup A1A haplotype H1A.46. Okay, so some other dogs. So basically, with these other dogs, if we traced their parented, their paternal line back, and Pete's paternal line back, then we would find a common doggy ancestor. So, okay. Traveled during European colonial times. Cool. So moving on to relatives... Pete's doggy DNA relatives. Using our doggy DNA relative finder, we connect you with other embarked dogs that are related to your pup based on the percentage of DNA they share. And I don't see Jack in this list. Does that mean that Pete and Jack are not related? Interesting. Okay, so he has a lot of close family members. Let's take a look. So we do have we have Ruby, mixed breed, Bijan. 12% shared DNA. Um, and we have Boo, close family, 11% shared DNA. And there's a, there, three over 10% DNA. I mean, these are, these are a lot interesting. But Jack isn't on the list. Interesting. So are they, are they not relatives? I don't know. Okay, well, now we're going to have to go see Jack's results. So I'm I'm going to skip to the results. We already did the guess on Pete. So, okay, so pretty much, oh, wow. Okay, interesting. So he has Poodle, Chihuahua, Bichon, Pekingese, Cocker Spaniel, which Pete, I don't think Pete had. Maybe he did. 4.5% miniature pincher, 4.4% German shepherd dog, 4.6% super mutt. I mean, this is pretty similar to how Pete's is. It's just with the great grandparents, it seems a bit more mixed. Um, so let's see, mixed matches. Woody, so that dog, Woody, was also listed as similar to Pete. I recognize that dog. So, okay. Maternal haplotype A1A A381. And then paternal A1A H1A46. Okay, so. And I I feel like I saw some of these. Yeah, some of the, Okay. S there we go. Pete shares 63%. Why is Jack not showing up with Pete? So they are immediate family as, as full sibling. They're brothers. They are definitely brothers. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy about that. Oh my gosh. That's so great. I was really worried there for a second, but he's coming up. So I guess it's just because I guess it's just because maybe Jack has been on there already, but I, I don't know. That's really crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. But then we do have a lot of the same first cousins. 
so what I'm probably going to do now, these people may think I'm crazy and, you know, maybe I'll end up doing a follow up video, but I'm going to contact them to see what they know about their dogs. Cause you know, my dogs, they come from California. They were found in California. They're this Chihuahua poodle mix, which when I looked up it, it seems that chi poos, which they're called are really big things. And I was wondering, well, maybe if there's a chi poo breeder in the area or something like that, um, all right, you know what? Let's click on one of these matches. We're going to click on Boo. Because he looks so much like Jack. I adopted him this past summer in June. Therefore, I have no history on him except he's an older dog. Oh, he's got an Instagram. That's so cool. In California. Okay. And then they... Oh, that's cool. And they give you the chromosome browser too. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they could do a DNA painter for like dogs. <laughs> Basically, I, you know, just being a genealogist, the way I think, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I could totally build out my dog's, you know, genetic family tree, stuff like that. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, this is really cool. I'm so happy about this. That's awesome. I'm so excited about this. I, I, I'm a little disappointed that with Jack's results, Pete's, or with Pete's results, Jack didn't show up as an immediate family member. But it, it probably just a small little glitch in the system. But this is so awesome. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you're interested in getting an Embark DNA test for your own dog, go down below. I'm going to have a link. It'll be an affiliate link. So if you buy the kit through that, I'll actually get a little bit of money, which helps build the channel. And it doesn't cost any extra. So if you're really interested, definitely be sure to click that link down below. If you want to subscribe, all you have to do is click this button right about here. It's completely free to do so. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just follow me at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.